first love, like I think five years old, I started playing ball na, like in our backyard with my older brother. Um, he's like eight years older than me, six, six seven years older than me. So I, I kind of got used to playing against bigger guys. I had to, parang, parang I didn't really see it as a disadvantage because I was just a little kid that time. There were no teams, there were no camps. And then eventually my dad parang, introduced me to a lot of camps like Milo Best, um, Ateneo Basketball Schools and all that. And then I just fell in love with it. Uh, every day I used to train with my dad and my you know, we used to join a lot of camps. And then I love the fact that you can get better. Like, let's say me, when I was a kid, I didn't know how to like dribble with the left. When I could dribble with the left, I was like, wow, like, like you can do that. You can actually learn a lot of things in basketball. So it just became a process. Na parang, oh, I can do a between the legs or I can do a behind the back. Like, and then I just fell in love with that process. Na parang, oh, I can do a three-point shot. Oh, I can do five straight three-point shots. Like it just keeps on like uh, building up, like what you can do in basketball. So the improvement really never stops. And then when I, I think it was like grade two, I started playing organized basketball, like um, with referees, with plays, with coaches, and all that. But then I came from a small school, so I came from community of learners. It's a private school, uh, non-traditional, super small school. Oh. And then we used to play against like the big schools, Ateneo, La Salle, Savior, and we would be like we would lose like 60 points. 50. I can relate. I used to be in Montessori also in Merville. Ganon din kami kasi we're right? a small school. Yeah. Yeah. So parang I was kind of like quote unquote the star, but you would always lose like 40, 50 points. So as a young kid, I was like, how do I get to that level? all that so that parang as a young kid my parents really taught me na parang uh it doesn't mean that if you lose now you're gonna lose forever again if you work hard you'll you'll parang get their level you'll be able to compete against them and at a young age i learned that so parang i just wanted to get better at the sport and then eventually i had a opportunity to try out for the up team upis juniors team And then I got in, not because of basketball, because I passed the test. <laughs> so, <laughs> good so example I was small, then. Yeah, I was a small, I was a small like five one kid. Oh. I was I was decent. I was actually like enough to man to get into the lineup, but I was so small, five one. So And if I didn't pass the test, I I I think the oh, okay, okay. for that. Yeah. So I, I luckily I passed the test, and then the coaches were like. Oh, matalino naman siya. Eh. He's part of the UPIS community. <laughs> so they introduced, they parang welcomed me to the team. But unfortunately, in my first year, I was I I got cut, so I didn't play in my first year. And then when I found out that I got cut, I really cried. Because parang that was my that was my dream to play for the UAP. And then fourth year, si Kiefer noon, I wanted to play against him. He was like my idol growing right. up. And then. Yeah, parang I stayed. I remember that night when I got cut. I stayed in the gym. I think our training ended at around eight. I didn't go home until like ten, eleven. Our driver parang gave up on me na. Mui na siya. Kasi, yeah, mui na siya. Kasi I didn't want to go home, so my dad picked me up. And then that night, my dad was like, "Oh, why are you crying? Like, why why didn't you go home?" I was like, "Dad, they they cut me. I didn't get into the team." And then he told me parang, "Ah." Uh, Don't give them any reason next year. So you just work hard, but you get your head up. Next year, don't give them any reason to not get you. And then that kind of stuck to me. I listened to my parents. I was a, parang mabait naman na kid, so uh, yeah, I listened to them. So from that day on, that's where it started. Uh, I eat healthy. I didn't eat chips for that whole year. I didn't um, drink soda for that whole year. I got my eight nine hours of sleep every night because I wanted to grow tall. I was five one, mm. right? And then before classes, I would run around UP almost like three to four times a week. And then I wasn't allowed to train with the team A guys, so after classes, I would go to the CHK gym where they train, and I would go up against college students. Not really the players, just the students around there. You know, mga naglalaro lang. So as a high school kid, I would go up against college people. Na 
way bigger than me and then I used to train with my dad. Then. So imagine there are two courts. On the first court, that's where they're training. And then me on the second court, I'm like training with yeah. other guys. And, yeah. and then luckily, I, I was just super consistent with it. Twice a day, I would train and all that. I grew like six inches in a year. Growth spurt talaga. So from 5'1", I grew to 5'7". And then the tryouts came. And then boom, like my skills were there now when I was 5'1". But I grew. So they were like, oh, you can be a legit point guard now. I got into the team. Yeah, and mm-hmm. I was able to defend players now since I was a little taller. And then I just continued the grind. Like, I just continued getting better from that point on. Joined a lot of like mga barangay leagues because that really helped me with my confidence. And then there, my numbers came up. I got an, uh, an invite to the national team after that. I got into, parang we were, we were like 300 in the trial. I got into to the last cut, top 12. That's with the Nietos, mm. the Nietos, um, Escoto, Jolo Mendoza, and all that. Yeah, so, I remember that. But it was a crazy run. From It wasn't even in my head na parang I want to be in the national team or I want to be the star of the team. But I just, day, day by day, I just wanted to get better. And then eventually, those habits parang really helped me become a better player. Yeah. Anong year pala yung unang nakat ka? Was that what? Second year? Yung first year. Yung first, first year. year yun, yung naglalaro ka pa ng gabi. Yun, yun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Year. And then next year, you made it na? Next year, I made it. Yeah, but like, oh, hindi pa ganun ka na contributions. But there were like, like, games na na I would like score 15, ganun, uh-huh. like, against big teams like Zobel and all that. Uh-huh. And then the next year, we changed coaches. Coach Alan na yung naging coach. Uh-huh. Alan Gregor. The yeah. dad of one years. Uh, he gave me all the confidence, all the green light. And then there, I, from that point on, my career just flourished. Like, I, 30 minutes per game ako sa kanya. So I'm really grateful for him. Uh, I averaged, I think my third year, by around 15 a game. My fourth year, uh, I led the league in scoring. Mga 21 yata per game. And then that was, luckily, I was able to parang get the attention of scouts for the national team and for college so, yeah. Grateful okay. ako kay Coach Alan. 